from her popularity on The Voice and her great covers on YouTube. Plus, she just dropped her brand new EP, Side A. Let's hear it for Christina Griffin! Um, I want to play for you a song that um, it's on my EP, my brand new EP called Side A, and uh, it's one of my favorites to sing, uh, and it's called Deception. Hope you guys like it. has been going on with you, right? Like, yeah. you mm -hmm. were on tour with Rachel Platten. What was that yes. like? Um, that was amazing. And for those of you that aren't familiar with, you know, her personality or what she's like. She's a she's, terrible person. She's an awful person. No, she <laughs> is uh, so, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's probably one of the sweetest people I've ever worked with in my entire life. Wow. Like, just. And, like, just musically, too. Just you musically, two together? Oh, man. I need more music. You need that, yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Side A. What was that like for you, making, creating? What's, like, what's, do you have a favorite track right now? Um, well, the, the one I did just play you, uh, Deception, it took me about a year to write that because, like, I wrote the chorus of it, and, uh, and then a year went by, and I had nothing really to say other than I'm wondering, I'm wondering, like, all that stuff. And then I finally, like, went through something crazy, and I was like, I just wrote the rest in, like, 10 minutes, and then, uh, so that's probably, like, my baby, I call yeah. it, of that. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> Well, 
in honor of your new EP, we have a little game called Side A or B. Oh, right. Right? Look at this. Okay. I, even, I made, I didn't make this. Oh, okay. But it's cool. You can take credit for okay, it. Okay, I will. So basically, there's going to be two artists or bands on okay. the screen. You're going to say which one you prefer. It's like, would you rather? All right. Okay, Let's great. Do it. So when you choose a side, another artist will slide up on the other side that you didn't pick. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, hopefully, we'll find out at the end who your favorite artist is. Okay. I'm ready to just jump into this first just one. Go. Let's bring up these two artists. Okay. Who's okay. Our, oh. Rihanna. Oh, okay. This is tough. To okay, I know a lot more Rihanna, so I'm gonna go with side B. Okay, we're going with side B. So we're losing five sauce for sorry. Time. The audience agrees, I guess. Weirdo. Oof, you guys. Okay, are... side B. Oh. Oof. All right. Okay, I'm going with side A. Side A for sure. You guys. Okay, so Kurt. we're losing Rihanna. Super sorry to you. Um, what do we? Oh. I gotta stick with the Nirvana. Wait, so. what? I'm sorry, what? I have to. What? Side A, totally okay, not okay. biased at all. But, but okay, so you guys just had shades. a human. Can we just talk about the fashion statement he's making? Right. Okay. Yes. It's not just the music, it's the it's the glasses. Okay, definitely the glasses. It's not even the music, <laughs> just the glasses. Oh, it's man. the fashion statement, it's the whole pack. Wait, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys? Oh, oh, B's up here. Okay, okay. Has, have you heard of this artist? I'm not sure who that is. Um, actually. I'm not really does sure. Does anybody in this audience know who? <laughs> Oh, wow, this is, I mean, you what can never so, compare Nirvana. You can't, that's Justin what I was just going to say. They're we are too far off. We are forcing you to pick You're right now. forcing me to pick? Now, All do right. you have a favorite, before we, before we move on, I just need to know, do you have a favorite Bieber song? Um, yeah, I'm still obsessed with What Do You Mean. I realize he's got a lot of great songs, but like What Do You Mean is still my jam. Like that comes on the radio and I'm like, what do you bow, mean? Bow, like, bow, all day. Bow, bow. Anyway, <laughs> you and Kanye have that in common. Yeah. So, okay, well, this is impossible to choose, but we're gonna force you to do it. I mean, they're two polar opposites. If I had to, like, go by just, like, you know, I. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, Nirvana, I'm sorry. Okay, we're Bieber's, sticking with Nirvana. Yes, I, I like knew Bieber. this was gonna happen. I, I knew I, I had love a Bieber. Feeling. Don't get me wrong, I really do. But as far as. Bye, Bieber. Sorry, Bieber. Goodbye, Bieber. Who do we have? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Can you imagine this if you had picked trouble. Bieber and then this had come up? This is trouble. Oh, that would have been Oh, that drama. would have been a mess. That would have been a mess and a half. All right, just to be safe, going with A again, because I don't want to hear it from the, uh, you Keep know. Keeping your hands to your s- <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't laugh at that. I'm don't laugh at that at all. I'm laughing so hard on the inside. <laughs> all right, all right, side A, let's go. Okay, okay, okay keeping, keeping side A. Okay, what do we got on side B? Do we have any? Um, <gasps> oh, oh, do we have? We have a little bit of a competition here. Side B, side B it is. Oh, <laughs> now, now why? Why are you choosing side B? Celine Dion was the first singer I think I've ever really learned from. I've listened to her. My mom played her in the car, in my house, since I was three or four years right. old. I mean, so I've been listening to her. Celine fan. Yes, the biggest Celine fan in the world other than myself. Okay. So I gotta go with the, the You gotta Celine go with Celine. One. So at this point, is it safe to say that Celine is your favorite artist? Yes. Yeah. Of all time. Well, I guess that's hard to say. Aguilera, as well. Celine. Oh. From a vocal standpoint. For right. Sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I think I think we finally narrowed it down, I think you guys. We did. Does anybody agree with Side B in this audience, right? Oh. Celine. Thank you. She's an amazing vocalist. She's insane. Thank Give it absolutely. up for Christina Grimmie, you guys. To hear some more music, though. Right. Well, you might have heard the name of the next song. Okay, she's kind of famous, and she has seven dwarfs' friends. I was her when I was two for Halloween. You guessed it. This is Snow White. Let's hear it. <laughs> And now it's too late to gain your trust, control your lust. No, maybe that's dangerous. What does it take to find me the man who won't go and break my heart? Well, there's only one, and he's got the key. But we are two worlds apart. Someday, my prince will come for me and save me from. Where will I 
Should I back down when I saw you coming on strong? But time is gone, attempt to rewind your past You'll find that can't be done But I fell for those eyes, they took me by surprise Should've never ever compromised, but it's too late You broke in the warning Now that I got is my heart beat. What does it take to find me the man Who won't go and break my heart? Well, there's only one And he's got the key We are two worlds apart Someday of questions for Christina Grammy. This is like one of my favorite things we do on the show. We take questions from the audience. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity, you guys. Who has a question for Christina Grammy out there? Anybody? Let's go with you over there. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, what is the last thing that you think about before you fall asleep? Hmm. Dogs. You know what? I know, right? <laughs> you know, I actually think who? about like, this like my morning like it's one of those things where I set my alarm and then I lay down and I'm like oh my gosh I have six hours and 25 minutes to you know that's actually kind of what I think about I know that sounds awful oh gosh I wish it was more relaxing for you you would think you because would think. it's sleep but um I, I do that whole thing where you know you set your alarm and then you kind of like panic and you're like you know you can't you finally your head. realize what especially you... yeah especially if you have to get up early like which some like half the time I have to do yeah yeah. Um, okay, question. We have two more questions. Anybody? What about you over here? What was the hardest song to write on your new EP and why? The hardest song to write? Mm, I mean, I guess I would go with Deception. Because uh, you said that took... It like, took me a long time because I like had the chorus ago. and it's like really repetitive. And I like didn't really know what I wanted to say to complement it. I literally just wrote the chorus with no inspiration. Um, and I was like, I don't have the heart to finish the song because I want it to be good. And I was like, I don't know what to say. So um, it took me a long time. Like, I came back to it several different times, reopened the, you know, lyric sheet. And I was like, that's got nothing. Uh, so, yeah, I had something kind of happen to me, like, in, you know. So that's why it's very story-oriented, because, yeah. That's so interesting. But, yeah. I think that's so awesome. We have time for one more question, you guys. What about you right here? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, so your hair is super cool. I wanted to know if you thought about what color you want to dye it next. Ooh, I actually hard. did think about that. I want to dye it red now. Um, Wait, the whole thing? No. Just the, just just the, the tips. Just the tip. Okay. Um, because <laughs> side, side A has a very blue theme going to it. If you saw the artwork, and I'm thinking artwork for side B might be red. So basically, I kind of want to go with whatever my artwork is. I know that sounds kind of wow, lame. Wow, so you have like a full aesthetic going right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Like you have a full-blown theme. A you little bit. You thought and time into this. I mean, this. My, my, my hair's a little green now. It's not even really blue anymore, but... You've got it's mermaid vibes blue. for sure. For days. They're like, there's some navies in there and ocean. Like, I you know. love it. Thank you. you know. Love it. Thank you. you know. Love it. Thank you. you know. Love it. 
Thank you. You know. Love it. Thank you. You know. Um, this is Liar Liar. Thank you. Woo! I've always dreamt of being able to play the piano. I can't, and that's fine. But you also do the cool girl piano player thing, where like with your left hand it comes up. I don't know why I have to point to things. It's like the cool. It's like, like uh, when you're feeling the uh, what I'm feeling. Anyway, I point. that's the coolest thing that I've seen all day. Just had to point that out. You had to point that out. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't look as cool when I do it. It's just not a thing. I'm gonna stop doing that. All right. We do have time. For one quick game, one okay. more quick right. game with you. Um, with that last track, you know, being liar liar, we're gonna play two truths and a two truths, two truths and a liar and a liar. Okay, okay, let's right. the first one. Okay, two truths and a lie. I'm involved in this game. Ooh, you're, I, I could, I could feel it. Ready? All right. Um, I am amazing at pool. Okay. I love dogs, and I okay. love candy. How do we feel? Pool. What? Pool. Who would say dogs, sir? Everyone loves dogs. Candy, you think? Pool. Okay, so Pool. I have feelings about this. I'm thinking the first two are truths and the last is a lie. Do you agree? No. Okay, so we're going with the first one. The first two are truths, last one's a lie. Done. No. Yes. I am subpar at pool. I'm not amazing at it. Subpar at pool? Love dogs. I, Love candy. You love candy. That's your yes. favorite sweet. Yes. Okay, great. Now, Hershey what about? Do you days. have? Do you have? Do you have another one that we can go? I need to get one right here, you guys. I wrote my first song when I was ten. Um, I absolutely love anime, and um, I still live with my family. Okay, this is super hard because I know. I'm gonna go with the last two are truths. Yes. Yes. That's true. Because you must have written your first song when you were younger than that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like two, wow. three. I wrote my first song, I think, 
I mean, I was in kindergarten writing songs, so I feel like maybe before that I was writing songs. As well. <laughs> okay. All right, good guess. Okay, good guess. yay for okay. me, I got one right. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, thank you. I do think it's time that we get into one last song, you guys. I know this is a sad thing, but we have had such a great show so far, and I, I'm ready to hear this one. This is Anybody's You. Thank you guys for all being awesome, by the way.